So we're here to show you how to twist tomatoes. Um, we twist tomatoes uh, to support them um, up to the string. Uh, you can do this by uh, tying them to uh, bamboo canes. The process is started by tying the string to the plant at the bottom and this has to be a very loose knot otherwise when the stem swells up it, it restricts the uh, flow of moisture up the plant. First of all I like to twist them always in the same direction which is uh, clockwise. You mustn't trap the leaves against the stem of the plant so you lift the leaves around the string and carry on twisting till you get to the top and by the time you get to the top it becomes difficult to twist it any further but that's not a problem so there we are you can see the string is twisted all the way around the plant right to the top the string twisted around the plant but actually you're twisting the plant around the string when you do it. Now I'm going to show you how to take out side shoots. Um, it's important to take out side shoots because uh, the side shoots take out a lot of the energy from the uh, flowers and the fruit which means the fruit won't be so big or perhaps even not set at all. So, the side shoots grow in the leaf nodes. That's the, the leaf node is, node is between the leaf and the stem of the plant. So there is one here and you break it out between your thumb and finger. There is another bigger one and it's usually between the side shoot, so below the truss. It's stronger below the truss because it's pulling all the goodness out of the truss, so that one's very important to get out. This one, there is no side shoot at the moment because it hasn't developed. This one, there is a very tiny one, but I can't get it out. And then the next one here, there's another big side shoot coming. So take that one out. And then the top of the plant, it's very difficult to decide which is the side shoot and which is the main stem. The side shoot is the one underneath the truss. And so we're going to take one out anyway. And I'm going to take this one out. And it's going to be difficult. Okay. It's useful to take out the side shoots on a dry day because the wound needs to heal up before evening. Otherwise, uh, diseases like botrytis will get in. There's two more here. There's another one there. And then there's two very, very small ones, which I might as well take out. Because when they grow bigger, they'll make more of a wound and give botrytis more chance to get into the stem of the plant and kill it. One advantage of twisting them before you take the side shoots out is if, the, if by chance you break the main stem when you're twisting it, you've still got a side shoot that you can grow on instead of the main stem. So it's quite important to do it in that order in case you do break the main stem out when you're twisting it. Um, side shooting I'll be doing every week and twisting I'll be doing every week. So you would twist them in and then take the side tubes out. I like to take the leaves off the tomatoes as the trusses get ready. It helps them ripen 
and it also puts some airflow around the bottom of the plants. Um, we need airflow around the bottom of the plants to stop botrytis getting into the main stem and killing the plant off. Um, leaves either break off well pulling them down or pulling them up and it depends on which variety you have. So it's, it's a sort of a test to see if they'll um, break upwards or break upwards best or break downwards best. This variety breaks easily upwards. And I'm going to take off, that truss is getting ready, I'm going to take it off to the next truss and then the sun can get at that truss to help it to ripen. It will ripen with the leaves on, but it ripens faster with the leaves off. Right, this is biological control uh, for whitefly. On this card are um, the pupae of Incarsia formosa, which attacks whitefly. The little wasp that hatches out of this um, pupa flies around, looks for um, whitefly scales and lays eggs in them and then the um, the little wasp eats the inside of the white fly scale and then hatches out into a new wasp. But I keep these on the plant so that the, the bugs don't have far to go to find any white fly that might be hovering around. Right, I'm now going to twist this plant. Um, I do like to twist them before I take the side tubes out. Um, and what I'm doing is moving the plant around the string and making sure the leaves don't get trapped between the main stem and the string. If this happens, they tend to get botrytis and that will rot through the main stem and eventually kill the plant. Uh, side shooting again, we've got a lot more side shoots on this plant and they are still between the main stem and the leaf so I'm going to break that one out. There is another one there between that leaf and the main stem. I should break that one out. 